morning of the third day here. It's uh, just kind of a little gray, kind of a little bit, oh, it's slippery. Kind of a bit wet, you can see that. But it's not raining right now, so um, we had a good morning tide here uh, at about 10 o'clock. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pack up right now. We're gonna go check out that crab trap, see if we got anything. Uh, pack up a bunch of gear, some fishing rods, and uh, some hunting gear. We're gonna head over to a different estuary and set up for the day. Do a bit of fishing off there and uh, see if we can find some more bears. We still got two more tags to fill, so should be a fun day. Hopefully the rain holds off. Pretty interesting development here in the uh, world of crabbing off the west coast. We pulled it up and two full leg bones are missing. And we have no idea how that happened. Not sure if those crab were able to pull those out. Maybe it's a uh, river otter, who knows, but it's a whodunit out here on the west coast. We're just cruising along here, going on the next estuary, and uh, saw this super small little beach, just about low tide. Looks like there's some oysters here, so we'll take a look, see if we can find some snacks. The beach is just loaded with oysters. Some of them are absolutely massive. You know, something like that, you can see how big it is. That's more for grilling or pan fry, something like that. So, the boys and I were looking for definitely smaller oysters, stuff that we can just shuck, eat on the half shell. That's a really nice one right there. Just a good size to eat on the half shell. Um, so yeah, I got a little haul. Boys are collecting theirs and we'll go back and eat these for uh, a little appetizer when we get back to camp. I think we see another rock crawling bear. Just came through a pass and he's way out there. Pretty interesting to see all the bears out on the rocks. Definitely learning something new being out here. Uh, I just kind of assumed that they were all going to be in the estuaries, but I think of all the bears we've seen, I'd say about 50% have been crawling along the rocks, eating barnacles and oysters and stuff like that, so we'll go see if we can get in closer to this next guy. So we were cruising over to a bear right over there, and we just noticed another bear right up here on the beach. So usually how it works is the bigger bears are the ones that are going to be dominating the estuary. The smaller ones are crawling the rocks, so we just changed tactics. We're gonna head into the estuary, see if this bear's any good. Right there. Get it. So we just pulled the zodiac up, and that bear is essentially just over that little greenery down on the other side. He looked decent from the ocean, so we'll sneak in here and get a better look. So wet. Well, we're good either way. Right? <laughs> Yeah, he did look like a nice bear. Like he had a good hump on him. Big head. Yeah. I don't think he's super long, but he's like, he's thick, stocky, really nice hide. The hide looked awesome. Jet black, no rubbing at all. He's got a big crease between his ears. Yeah, nice bear. Uh, there's his hind track right there. We were looking for it to kind of get a better idea of the size. So there's the imprint on his back foot and all his claws. Quite a perfect imprint, actually. It's pretty neat. So this is probably where he was feeding the sauce and then gathered some power to push off and start running. Can you tell anything about the size of the bear just from the hind footprint? I mean, most commonly you go from the front foot for sure um, to get a, 
the width and all that kind of stuff, but you can get a rough estimate from the hind as well. Like that looks like a fairly good hind to me, especially with how deep it is in the mud. I mean, I gotta really push to try to even get half as deep as him. Yeah, so you think he's heavy? He's pretty heavy. Yeah. Sure. yeah. He's heavier than me, he's more than 200 pounds. <laughs> Probably one of the cooler bear experiences. We uh, we were cruising along, we we're looking for some petroglyphs that we heard were uh, on the rocks here, and uh, Cam just sees this little bear just kind of like scoot around the corner in this like little uh, super super tiny little cut. And we come up and we just basically like, floated in with the engine just idling, and uh, we had to be about four yards from that bear. And we watched her for I don't know total like 15 20 seconds. She would grab muscles and like pull them up onto the, the calf of her other leg and then eat them off there. Really cool. Low tide's coming up late this evening, so we're going out for a cruise. We're checking out some of these estuaries behind us. We're right now just pulling up to one of the biggest estuaries. Um, it's also where we uh, it's also where we shot Cam's bear the other night, and where Ben happened to lose my Leopold rangefinder. So. We're going back to take a look for it. Couple of bucks. Just came back onto the estuary. He's still there. That bear just came out. It looks like a pretty good one. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for him to give us a good shot and take him. Got another patch, dude. Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> I swore I saw him make it to the trees and take it off. Whew. I was a little nervous. How long were we on the beach for? Five minutes. <laughs> we were kind of we were kind of screwing around looking for that rangefinder that you lost. Yeah. And then you literally found it. Found it. Sat down. Sat down. You filmed, <laughs> I and walked, as you filmed, the bear walked out. That was amazing. I walked back over and I saw something black by the trees, and I was like, that can't be a bear, because those guys would see it if it was a bear. <laughs> and then it walked down the bank. Man, the west coast of Vancouver Island is just insane. It literally feels like there's bears everywhere. On every single beach and around every single bush, there's another bear. This place is just wild in every sense of the word. Just pulling the Zodiac around to grab Ben's bear, and sure enough, there's another bear gone on the rocks. 